Hey guys, I'm trying this again. <laughs> so I, my phone died during the video, so I'm so sorry. If you were watching, you're probably like, what is going on? This girl is just terrible at Facebook Live. Ah, all right. Welcome into day eight of Veganuary. You're officially one day in to week two, and I'm so excited and proud of you guys. You're doing an amazing job. Keep up the great work, and I hope you are enjoying this new journey into your well-being and that you're seeing some exciting new changes with your body or your health. It's a really, really exciting time. Today, I wanted to bring you guys a tip for how to eat um, or find vegan options, rather, when you find yourself at a fast casual restaurant that may not be very vegan friendly. This actually happened to me today. My girlfriend and I, we had great plans to go to our favorite Thai restaurant. And when we got there, they had changed their hours so they weren't open. <laughs> and it was such a bummer. So we were scrambling to find another restaurant in the area where we could eat. And we ended up at a Mexican fast casual restaurant. And when I first looked at the menu, I was a little worried because there was nothing, there was only one option really as far as um, a meal selection goes on the menu. There were some great side dish options though, so I will talk to you guys about that and show you the actual menu and walk you through the process that I went through to order. But um, the big point that I want to make today with this tip is that don't feel discouraged when you find yourself in a restaurant, maybe with some friends, and you feel like you can't eat anything. Because sometimes it just requires a little bit of extra creativity and a little thinking outside of the box to find an option that will work for you. So what I've done for you guys today, um, let me flip the camera around, is I found three fast casual vegan restaurants that I want to talk to you guys about today. And what I'm going to do is go through them in order of least vegan friendly to most vegan friendly options. So we're going to start with California tortilla and this is where I ate today. We're also going to talk about Taco Bell, which I know sounds crazy, but they have vegan options. And the last one we're going to talk about is going to be Chipotle. So this is one of the best vegan option, um, fast casual places as far as Mexican food goes. They're really gonna have the best the best options. But let's start with California tortilla since this is where I ate today. So if you click on their menu, you're gonna see they've got the traditional Mexican options, burritos, tacos, bowls, salads, quesadillas, nachos, fajitas. What they do that's really cool on their menu is that they'll indicate with a red flame if something is spicy, which I love some spicy. But they'll also use a little green leaf here if something is vegetarian or vegan friendly. So that really helps when you're looking at the menu at a glance to really hone in and zero in quickly on the options that are for you. So let's click into burritos because this is really, I'll show you guys, there really is only one option at California Tortilla as far as a main dish goes. And if you're looking at a glance, so you're looking, oh, there's that green little leaf, right? So that means it's gonna be vegetarian or vegan friendly. So this is the No Mito Burrito, which has sauteed veggies and rice, black beans, guac, sunset sauce, spinach, and salsa. And the cool thing about their website is if you click in to view the nutrition info, you can actually look at the, you can customize the size, um, and then you can see the ingredients here. But the best part for me is they'll say, if you have a food allergy, you can click to see the allergens. So this is perfect. Um, here the allergens you can see are only wheat and gluten. So this is definitely a vegan option. If it wasn't vegan, it would, it would list um, things like dairy or eggs here. So that's how you would know. It's a really great way to just double confirm that the item you're looking at really is vegan friendly. So I ordered the No Mito Burrito. And then what I'll show you is I also got a side dish. So if you click on the sides, I, this is actually what I ordered. I ordered the salsa and the salsa and chips. And their salsa is actually like a pico de gallo. So the other thing I want to talk to you guys about, so since, for example, this California tortilla only had one burrito option, there, no tacos, no fajitas, everything else was had meat or cheese. So if you're like, well, I don't want a burrito, Let's look at the sides and see how we can get creative and maybe order a few side dishes to create a meal. So the great thing is almost all of these sides are vegan. The side salad does come with cheese. So if you ordered the side salad without cheese, that's vegan. The black beans are vegan. Chips and guac are vegan. Chips and salsa. 
rice and beans, Mexican rice. These are all vegan. So you could easily say, okay, I'm going to get the rice and beans, the chips and guac, and maybe a side salad. And that's a meal. That would be a great meal. Or maybe the Mexican rice with the chips and salsa um, and a side salad. So you really can get creative and build a meal with side dishes. I do this all the time when I find myself at a restaurant that doesn't have options. So sometimes it just requires a little bit of creativity and thinking outside the box. So let's move on to Taco Bell because this I, I think is the most shocking to people is to think of Taco Bell having vegan options. So let's look at their menu. And they've got tacos, burritos. So let's just click into tacos. I was looking through their tacos and at a glance in the pictures, everything has meat or cheese, right? So you're scrolling through. And so initially you may say as a vegan, oh, nothing for me, right? But let's click in. So I just looked in at the crunchy taco, which is your basic traditional taco. They have this option where you can customize your order. So if you scroll down to what's included, you can see that it includes seasoned beef, lettuce, and cheese. But if I'm vegan, I'm going to say, okay, I don't want the seasoned beef, keep the lettuce, and I don't want the cheese. So then what else can I add? They've got all these great add-ons. So let's take a look. You can add... Let's see, if, what if I wanted rice, maybe some refried beans, some jalapeno peppers. Ooh, that fried roasted salsa sounds good. Maybe some tomatoes. And just like that, I built a really hearty, delicious vegan tacos with beans and rice, peppers, salsa, lettuce and tomato. That is hearty. That's going to be so filling and so delicious. And that's a vegan taco. If you go back to their menu, you can do the same customizing with their burritos and um, the combos. But if you look, they also have a vegetarian option down here. So again, they've kind of curated a nice little selection of vegetarian friendly options. A lot of them contain cheese. So what you can do is you can still go in and further customize. So if I look at this power menu burrito veggie, I can see just in the photo that it has cheese. So let's scroll down to what's included. So we'll keep the beans get rid of the sour cream. We'll keep the lettuce and the guac. We'll get rid of the ranch that has milk and we'll get rid of the cheese. So right now we've got um, a burrito that has lettuce, guac, and pico de gallo. But if I want to add more, let's say I wanted rice. Maybe I want to do some refried beans again, tomatoes, jalapeno, Maybe that salsa again, because it just sounds so good. And now I just customized a really hearty burrito. And it's completely vegan. So thank you, Taco Bell, for having this customization tool, because now you can order vegan options very easily with them. The last fast casual Mexican restaurant I want to show you guys is probably my favorite, and this is Chipotle. They have really, really great ingredients, and they have some of the best options, I, in my opinion, for vegans. So let's look, click on the menu. And they, again, have the traditional Mexican options, burritos, bowls, tacos, tacos, soft and crispy or soft flour tacos, salads. And so what I typically always get, I'll show you, is a burrito bowl. Love a burrito bowl. So click in there and they'll show you here what's inside, right? So you get to choose the meat you want or, look at this, organic tofu. How exciting is that? So if you're looking for the tofu, you may say, well, which one is it? They all look like meat. Isn't that exciting? The tofu is this one, it's called sofritas. So if you click on this, they'll actually tell you what it is. It's organic shredded tofu, braised with chipotle chilies, roasted poblanos, aromatic spices, yum, that sounds amazing. So that can be the meat that you pick, and I wanna back out of, of this because I had an issue earlier with other items not showing. So we'll click back in a burrito, so you'll pick, pick your sofritas as your meat. And then looks, let's look at what else you can add. So. Cilantro lime brown rice, that's vegan. Cilantro lime white rice, vegan. Black beans are vegan. Pinto beans are vegan. The fajita veggies are vegan. So here are so many options you can add on your burrito bowl. Pick your rice, add some beans, veggies. And then as far as topping it off, you've got the fresh salsa, which is vegan. The tomatillo red chili salsa, vegan. Skip the sour cream. The tomatillo green is vegan. And also the roasted corn chili salsa is vegan. And of course the guac and lettuce are vegan. So really you can do a hearty, hearty, super filling, really, really um, amazing burrito bowl at Chipotle. 
And any other options that you pick, if you wanted the burrito or the tacos, you can do the same thing. You can use sofritas, which is the shredded tofu, instead of your meat. And you've gotten an amazing Mexican meal. So I'm going to flip you guys around. That is my tip for today. I hope you guys found it to be helpful and useful. Um, it's, it's something great when you find yourself at a fast casual restaurant and to not feel so defeated initially when you're looking at the menu because there is hope if you just get a little creative and read between the lines. Sometimes there's great options hidden in the menu. And if there's nothing hidden in the main entree section, then look at the side dishes and just get a little extra creative about how you can craft the perfect meal. That's my tip for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow for day nine of Veganuary. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!